What's up everybody? Back again. This time we got a real special car here. It's a 1967 Shelby GT350. Uh, it's a real Shelby and it's a factory white four speed. It's a factory 10 spoke car. Before I pop the hood, we'll go ahead and show you the nose. It's got the inboard headlights. Car's got great gaps. Uh, came out of California. Been out there for a while. So it's a really dry car. Does need some uh, factory exhaust tips. Body's really straight. Go. Now you can kind of see the, the angle with the paint. <clears throat> it's got the 289 hypo. It's got an original Shelby tag. Car number is 2946. Cobra aluminum intake, Le Mans carburetor. Right there's your 21 on the head. Power steering, power brakes, it's got the correct power steering pulley. Shelby number is stamped right here, as it should be. Ford numbers have been verified. It does come with the Marty report. <clears throat> Let's go to the interior. Show you down that body. <clears throat> Deluxe interior. As it should have. The fiberglass uh, back seat covers. I don't see any breaks or cracks in these. They're bad for braking. Factory roll bar. Fold down rear seat. Shoulder harnesses. Nice dash pad. It's got the original uh, Stuart Warner gauge pod. It does have a hearse shifter. Showing 26,992 miles. Don't know if that's original or not. Headliner's in great shape, even under the uh, visors. A lot of times mice chew those. Disc brake, clutch pedal. Door shut real nice. It's a beautiful example of a 67 GT350. It's got clean history in the registry. As far as uh, not being a rebody or a stolen car or anything like that. This is a turnkey car. Get in it, go enjoy it. <clears throat> Let's start it up. Starts 
right up. Tack works, obviously, or the car would not start. that solid lifter motor chatter. It's also got the correct dual point distributor. Monte Carlo bar was added. System aftermarket mufflers, car number. 946 white four speed uh, this car is for sale if you're interested call 304-731-6497 or text we're gonna take it on a little drive here and we'll stitch that to this thanks for watching